this is my 2013 Chevrolet Silverado 4x4 Z71 and oh does it have a lot of modifications for today's video I want to go over all the modifications that I've done so far with this truck and the price now I made this video in the past but there was a lot of more things that I've done to this truck so far so I figured I'd make an update video because we kind of still made it a little bit on the mods still getting some good ideas down and of course there is there is modifications that I do want to replace here on down the road including like the rims lift kit and stuff like that. and this is more of an informative video because I know a lot of you guys a lot of you guys that watch do have Chevrolets and similar body styles so if you guys are thinking about doing some of these modifications that I have well you'll know the price because I, I usually like to get the best price for all the mods that I have on this truck and of course I am going to include the labor cost at the end so let's get started here come over here and take a look picture four years ago senior year of high school and i'm buying my first modification for my truck it's still cold outside i think it's, a, it's like a, towards the start of winter time i'm in my garage could actually still fit this truck easily in the garage and i used to have real tree camo seat covers and if you guys are long-term viewers of the channel or you know me i used to have like a, a camo a lot of stuff camo seat covers camo floor mats a camo steering wheel cover and I spent about 90 bucks front two bucket seats and then I also had the rear in camo it started to wear out I mean you should have seen it whenever I took those covers off it was just disgusting on the underneath next modification is actually underneath the truck here and that is right here the Flowmaster Super 40 series muffler. Flowmaster Super 40 series muffler I've coated over probably a hundred times but the rust is still getting through of course we had to add a pipe to extend it because it's a lot shorter for the Flowmaster Super 40 series muffler that was $90 these tow mirrors both sides were $150 now you may be saying that's pretty cheap for tow mirrors these tow mirrors don't have turn signals they're not power not heat there's no power going to these mirrors at all they're completely manual they do extend and they do have a full tint to them side here there's these lines on the on the whole part that mounts to the door and i think that's really cool another fun fact is that i think gm and chevy trucks have had the same window dimension here for like what it was it like 50 years and now like the 2019 silverado has the mirrors here and it just looks really weird take a look my reese trailer braking system trailer braking system along with a wiring kit was 60 bucks next thing i wanted to talk about was the lift kit and the first lift that i got because i have two different lifts on this truck the first lift that i got was a suspension lift and that is a rough country three and a half inch and originally i didn't get the control arms we'll talk about that in a little bit but the rough country three and a half inch lift is basically just an oversized leveling kit differential drop of about an inch and like I said, it was only 250 bucks for that kit. The spacer on the front, we also have lift blocks in the back. So we got that right there. I think it's about an inch and a half. We got a block. We got custom Rough Country shocks. Now, originally these were gray and they were upside down. I had to fix those and we didn't have the boots on there either. But these were gray. It had like a Rough Country sticker on it. I code the whole thing black. And of course, they're on the right way now. And that's basically the whole lift. Very simple. So along with that suspension lift, I also got a $100 alignment. Now I want to talk about my zone one and a half inch body lift. So if you see here on the body mount, there is a one and a half inch puck spacer right up in here. Now there's, I think there's anywhere between six to eight cab mounts on the truck. Well, so I don't really recommend it, but I paid 150 bucks for that. Along with that body lift, we also had to get rear bumper brackets because the bumper was, was like sitting down here. It just looked hideous. It wasn't right. I know some people put in like a metal stripping on the inside here, or they put one of those LED turn signal lights, but the bumper so low just looked really bad. I had 50 bucks for the brackets. Shut up. Alright, <laughs> before I actually got these wheels and tires, and before I had another set of tires on there, I did buy a used set of wheels and tires. So before I, well I originally had the, you know, the stock wheels and tires, which I sold a while back, which I should have just kept them. I bought a set of American Racing Rim Chrome, I think it was like, a, it was like stock offset, it just didn't look that good. And I also had a pair of 3305 tires to go with it, BF Goodrich all-terrain tires ko's they looked really nice now i'm not really much of a chrome guy unless it's like forged wheels because who doesn't like forged wheels but yeah they looked really good on the truck they didn't rub at all it was very nice to have it was about 150 bucks as well for the alignment and i paid only 380 bucks for the wheels and tires 
but I also bought new tire sensors for the truck. For $30, I bought about five cans of spray paint, black high heat paint, and I painted from the end of the tip of the exhaust to the muffler, all the way up to the cats, and then to where it connects to the engine. I did find a Flowmaster exhaust tip while back on the road, installed it, fell off, so it's just moving on to the next person. This one I bought for 12 bucks at a discount store, sanded it down, painted it black. And for about 600 whopping dollars, because believe it or not, I've probably, th through four years, I've probably been through about $600 worth of spray cans, and that's probably about 100 cans of paint, because it's like six something at the Walmart. Everywhere is just coated in black paint, but I mean, that's what you gotta do when you live in a rusty, salty area. I'm talking about exactly. Got the frames, the drive shaft, the axles, suspension components, basically everything you can think of. I've coated it over under here. Mm. Before I had these tires on the truck right here, I used to have, th they were about 32.1 by like 11. They were a really wide mud terrain tire. They were very nice. Fierce altitude mud terrain tires. Bought them at a very shady tire shop at night in Lebanon, like an hour away from here. Went there with my friend Taylor. I, I can almost quote him, he was saying, Derek, you're gonna get me shot. And if you look at these tires here, these were not the original ones I had. I used to have those tires, like I said, fierce altitude, mud terrain tires, bought them used as well. And believe it or not, I only paid 150 bucks for them. 150 bucks for Mount Balance and Alignment, of course. I also got these wheels for 537 bucks. They're Pro Comp wheels. I mean, I also got the black lugs, but they were almost nothing. I swapped over my old tire sensors. But yeah, I did buy these brand new, these rims here and I bought used tires that complemented. It was kind of a really bad idea. I was with Mike at the time. I don't think we were going to the gym back then. I don't know what we were doing. I think we went hiking or something like that. And I said, can you drop me off at the Giant? I need to go pick up my truck. And I told him what I was what I was getting. And I said, just drop me off, man. I'm not ready to present it to everybody yet. He was so inclined on seeing what the truck looked like. So he dropped me off and he saw it and everything. I was pissed off because I didn't want to show him yet. But then he saw it and this is before I started filming and stuff. There's always those people that are thinking that your regular antenna is what receives the satellite, but that's not true. This is where you get it right up here. And I've had it for probably like the last four years and three months of it being free. So probably spent about 240 bucks. We have a shock boot. Now I paid 10 bucks for one on each side. The front struts are covered already with a rubber boot. These used to be red. I spray painted them black. And then I also put some nice thick zip ties on each side. This one actually has two. And while we're here, I figured I'd talk about what I did to cover out the ugly, ugly body lift that I had on. The ugliest thing about the truck when I put that body lift on was if you look down here, you could see a giant space. The frame was about here and then there was like a one and a half inch gap, but there's already a gap there stock. So it was probably about two, two and a half inches of just light shining through. It just looked hideous. But, and then I, then to, you know, fix the issue, which I put off for a while, was that I bought these Rough Country well line. I bought them for 90 bucks. I think they outsourced the Husky liners. But once those mud tires wore down, I didn't air them up enough. I had them like, I think it was a max of 80 PSI. I had them running at like 30. My gas mileage just was terrible. The tread was, was wearing very unevenly. I had to just get rid of them and they were really loud on the highway. I also c counted 12 bucks for painting the wells. But anyways, I, I bought this set of tires that way out in the middle of nowhere. I saw these two old guys just sitting by a campfire together in the middle of the woods is where I, I went so far out there and it, it was ridiculous. But I bought a pair of tires that I thought I was gonna have to use. They're about the same size as the ones I had before. I paid, I think it was like 60 bucks, 134 of them. So I made some money back whenever I got those tires. Bull bar on the truck and it was chrome. Back when this truck was chrome, I did get the bull bar here You can get one of those for about a hundred bucks on eBay It was chrome, but then I didn't like the look of the chrome What I did was that I took the bull bar actually no I think I actually originally painted it while it was on the truck used about four cans of paints to $24 and I painted that black So I used to also have a bug deflector here a trail FX and then I also have the rain guards up here So I think you can get the whole set for about a hundred bucks that broke and then GM reimbursed with the GM one Which I think they're like 200 but I got it for free so it didn't cost me anything because they broke it in the car wash and then i also painted the front and back bumpers i think 10 cans on that so i spent 60 bucks on it painted the front and back bumpers black with spray cans it looked terrible but i did it anyway i used to have these door trims on the truck and they're made out of rubber and they went all the way back if you look at any stock silverado besides like a work truck or a heavy duty they have them right here I took those things off and actually sold them online for 30 bucks. So that's 30 bucks back into the mop. Off-road antenna X, bendable, 
and it's also smaller. I do like the look of this better. It complements the truck whips in the back, but we'll get to that. On the inside of the truck here, seat covers. I paid 24 bucks for the front and back, a lot cheaper than those real tree ones. These are just some, I don't know, generic seat covers, no real brand to them but they look a lot better. I like the, just the dark look of the inside. Of course, it keeps things a bit hotter. So came with the steering wheel cover there, just a black cloth steering wheel cover. People said to buy the kit with them, but because it added so much more to the price, which would have made it so I should have just got a better, bigger, better lift, was that I got the Rough Country Forge Steel Control Arms. So as you can imagine, they're very thick. If you look down there at the lower control arms, the lower control arms down here are just as thick as these. So if you can imagine my suspension, it was, uh, I'd say it's pretty built. Now that I got those on, there's it's uh, was a lot better of a ride the angle of the suspension is worse enough with this rough country three and a half inch lift kit console latch paid five bucks for it someone slammed down this thing pretty hard and i said not to do it but they did and it's it broke this little latch thing right here so of course it would never latch anymore and i and it's a weak point in the truck because if you look at the video the people installing it on youtube a lot of views on it so now that i got the new latch a lot lot more durable of a plastic all one piece it always was i originally installed the cummins decal on the ram first and i knew that there was a transfer sheet this one did not come with it it's such a cheaply made like i went for the cheapest place i can get because it's just a prototype i literally only paid five bucks for the whole thing free shipping this is literally the whole decal like there is no separation between this logo and this cheat around it so I, I tried see i tried and originally when i first put it on i tried to take this part off but it's so cheap that they gave you all one piece back to the front end here i just want to take a look at these front end caps look at the front originally this truck did not have fog lights there were two caps on each side chrome with no fog lights it kind of looked bulky and ugly i bought ones that came with and they were primered they came with the fog light holes and i paid 50 bucks for those and then the paint the caps just the caps alone 180 bucks at the body shop 33 bucks for those smoked fog lights with regular bulbs i do want to get leds in there in the near future and i spray painted these black it just looked terrible and it was in the cost of painting the other stuff i just hated the look so what i did is i just bought some black primered end caps and i just threw these on 87 bucks now in the future it would be cool to paint these drill out some rivets to get them on there but we got them and it looks a lot better than the, just that spray can job that was eventually flaking all right now for the big meats of the truck and something actually pretty interesting and actually very expensive one of the probably the most expensive purchase of the year and that is Oyo Rough Terrain Tires. Bought these brand new online, got a great deal on them, that's why I bought them. Best brand you can get when it comes to tires, performance, drivability, getting the amount of miles you can get out of these, and of course, like I said, the performance. So these are a 3312 radius 18 of course 18 inch pro comp rims 1356 for a set of five because i also have the spare at home full size spare and for the pro comp spare rim i paid 130 dollars is the exact same model of these rims i have it at home right now but eventually i'm going to put it in the bed because i sold the spare tire holder and another thing that i bought with the spare tire and the the rim is that i want to be able to lock it so if you look in the bed in here which I did spray over all these. I bought a cable lock that you could put through here to be able to tie your spare tire. So of course people don't just rip your tire out and you know take it. Cause this is probably where I'm gonna keep my spare tire. I really don't have another place. Keeping it underneath the truck is just gonna add rust and moisture and stuff builds up there along with salt. Shut up! Tow hooks that I got. Now I've had that bull bar on for so long. I never got to experience the stock tow hooks that they come with the truck. We got some nice black tow hooks. They're flipped upside down because of the body lift, but it looks factory. 49 bucks for those. And then we got the custom LED headlight. When it, the, these LEDs, you've seen them in all the other videos. They light up and it's like the running lights that I wired myself. And of course we got the projector headlights there, regular high beams. They're also tinted, smoked. They look great. And for those, it was 216 bucks. Come to the grill. Now this is a very expensive piece to the truck. This is an LTZ grill. It's a GM grill. I bought it online. There's very, very limited amount of ones you can see online. I originally bought this one with chrome on the inside, stock, just like stock trucks, and then the outside was a black. But as you can see, it's got the opening here. So if you guys own this truck like this, you guys know that you can't get this on a regular 1500, or it's something that looks like a on an HD truck. We're gonna earn 60 bucks, believe it or not, for this grill. And then, of course, I didn't like it because the badge was also yellow. Paid another 250 bucks to 
paint this in inside professionally done gloss black paint the emblem gloss black and then also the match the grill of course the blue color of my truck and then also a rear badge that i actually never put on and i just have it in my room because you know i just like chevrolet so we got fog light wiring harness. I wired the, see if you see the main, the main wiring is here. Fog light wiring harness was 25 bucks. I had to buy the extra red wire to run some of this stuff because this truck is so a lot of real estate opposed to, well, just like a small car. I bought some 20 foot, 20 gauge wire, five bucks. Daytime running light, like I said, the the wire the running lights it had to be separate because this truck at stock didn't have it it was nine bucks for that i bought some fuse taps so i can tap it into the ignition every time i turn the key the headlight the running lights go on even if the engine's not running seven bucks for the taps i bought a 120 piece fuse assortment because well uh, i needed to add an extra fuse to the fuse tap it was six bucks for that so along with of course owning a truck like this there is some other things you need to get whenever you modify this much I bought a 20 foot one gauge jumper cable, literally advertised for semi trucks, but just in case, you know, I wanted to get something durable. And I also bought a Pittsburgh four ton jack for a hundred bucks because the jack stock on this won't fit. We were maxing out whenever I got a flat on the stock height, an easy pass for 30 bucks so I can go on the toll road. Here's what you all been waiting for. And that is the total cost. I split up the parts and the labor, and then I added things up to a total grand cost. There may be some miscellaneous stuff like maybe an extra can of paint that I forgot or some small tool, but I got the majority of the parts and labor in there, man, and I've, I've logged it since the beginning, and I try to keep a very good count of all the money I've spent on this truck. So if you guys are thinking about getting into truck modifications, just remember it's pretty expensive. And like I said, I'm just doing this so you guys know the real cost of some of this stuff if you guys are thinking about doing it for your own truck. So it's educational purposes only total parts cost was six thousand eight hundred and twenty three dollars total labor cost was one thousand six hundred and thirty dollars and for a grand total of, for everything i've spent on this truck eight thousand four hundred and fifty three bucks so basically eighty five hundred dollars has been put into this truck since back in i think 2014 since i bought the truck look at it it's totally worth it it looks like no other truck in the area and of course in pennsylvania not too many lifted trucks around but yeah, man, it's good to be unique. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love lifted trucks, truck modifications and everything and hair tearing out because of the amount of spending, hit that subscribe button. Have a nice day. Derek signing you off to you now. Have a nice day, Trucks 365. Let's do this. So I did paint the license plate bolts here. I used to have a nice CarMax cover that I painted, but I, I threw that up. Put zip ties on the bottom put zip ties to hold down these things. It was already on the truck. My friend Taylor, he, he gave me these most recent ones, one of them being a fire stick, but he's given me a lot of sets of these truck whips. Forgot was the third brake light. Paid 30 bucks for this. It's a full LED third brake light. And I installed it because I, I realized my other one was cracked. And I think I cracked it a long time ago when I used to actually scrap with this truck. I think something hit it and then broke it. I've scratched the window before. That's why I don't scrap anymore. I've dented the beds. It's not worth it with a nice truck. Total of $8,483.